Hi guys, Oliver Eaton here and welcome to Premier League Predictions Week 29 here on this channel. Uh, this week we have three big derbies. All on the top row we've got the Merseyside derby, the big London derby and also the other London derby which goes under the radar quite a bit. We also have these other seven matches but as always we will start with this midweek game's results. Start with your guys' predictions. Uh, Dan Bundy getting the Huddersfield score bang on there, congratulations to him. Uh, all the other scores doing pretty well as well. Uh, some similar to me as well, Crystal Palace though certainly didn't beat Manchester United as Pokemon Pokemon suggested. Here is my predictions last week as well uh, and what it turned out to be on the Sports Predictor. As you can see we've got Leicester City versus Brighton bang on. Uh, but we did have a couple of zeros. Huddersfield Wolves, we did predict 2-0 on the video, but it ended 0-0 on the website. So there we go. Here is the Eton League 3. Uh, a big move, actually, as Codson Athletic goes into second ahead of Ivo Majaz. Uh, on our AFC, still top. We're currently in sixth. Not looking good at all. Right, without further ado, let's get into predicting these 10 predictions. Starting with the big derby. It is Tottenham Arsenal and I've gone for a 1-0 home win, yes, at Wembley Stadium. I think Tottenham, yeah, they've done a Tottenham, haven't they? Uh, they've fallen apart, they're losing out on the title, but I think they will get the upper hand against Arsenal. Uh, it's a strange score, but I think maybe the home crowd will just pull it through. Bournemouth, Man City, I swear these teams always play each other, uh, but uh, I've gone for a 4-1 home win. Away win even, uh, I think Man City, they're a much stronger side than Bournemouth. Bournemouth will cause them troubles, I think, uh, in getting their one goal, but I don't think it'll be enough. Uh, Huddersfield were robbed of three points when they last played Brighton at home, uh, so I think they'll get a 1-1 here. Brighton, they've not been on the best forms themselves. I think there will be a tough game though for Huddersfield, and if they're going to get a point similar to last season, a 1-1 may be a fair score for both of them. Burnley, Palace, 2-2. Uh, both teams are predicted to get points in midweek, but both failed. I think it'll be a tricky game for both, actually. It'll be a very close mid-table battle as well. Um, and I'm, I'm favouring maybe a Peter Crouch goal, possibly. Manchester United, Southampton. A lot of injury concerns for Manchester, but they still pulled off that big win uh, against Palace 3-1. I've gone for 1-0, though. Uh, maybe... Uh, I should have thought this one more, but I think 1-0 might be a tight game. Wolves, Cardiff, Wolves must have overcome the embarrassment. They lost to Huddersfield twice. I think they'll bounce back here against another relegation team. Cardiff, uh, I don't think will be the better side in this game. So I think 2-0 to the home team. West Ham, Newcastle, I've gone for a 2-1. Um, a tricky game to predict. Newcastle have picked up a good form as of late, but West Ham, uh, they're kind of just there, aren't they? Um, I think they'll have enough to go 2-1 ahead, especially at home, uh, and end that streak. Watford against Leicester. A Brendan Rodgers Leicester, I think, will actually be defeated. Now, Watford did lose 5-0 against Liverpool, but I do like Watford, and I think they might have enough to come through this game. It'll be a close game, 3-2. it be interesting to see, though, Brendan Rodgers take on the game. One of the big derbies, 3-1 to the way team. Chelsea uh, got the win against Tottenham, a good win that was. And they go bounce back now and finish on a high. Possibly Fulham, though, deep in the relegation troubles as it stands. 3-1, though, to Chelsea here. And the big Merseyside derby. I've gone for a repeat of the reverse fixture. 1-0 to Liverpool. Uh, I think it'll be a close game. And it'll be a big test, actually, for Klopp and his men. Uh, but they'll be wanted to overcome Everton. And I've gone for that 1-0 slight win once again. Well, guys, thank you for watching. If indeed you still are. Make sure you comment down below and I will put them on screen and talk about them next episode. But until then, bye bye.